Hey guys, DudeSouls here and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 7. Last time was pretty eventful. We, uh, we kind of sent off Rufus and Heidegger at the Shinra cargo ship, uh, sneaking on board with the- yeah, our entire party just snuck on board, grabbing disguises, including- including Red 13, and we had an encounter with Sephiroth, ominously appearing out of the ground, taunting us, and then dramatically flying towards the screen, leaving behind a tentacle of Genova, where we had to fight an incarnation of Genova known as Genova Birth. And then we ended off the episode kind of struggling to find myself a safe point in Costa del Sol. So let's start off by actually exploring this place more in depth and not accidentally just stumbling on random things. Like in this dude's random house. I don't know why I can go into this, but that's basically with ever. Oh wait, we already went in here. Yeah, this is a, this is a basement where there's... Yeah, there's this dude just like hanging out right there. Who's like the manager of this place who's just kind of sitting here and there are a couple of items that I could grab. I mean, thanks, I guess. All right, moving on now. Uh, we have a receptionist down here. C come on. Angles. Here you are, the Costa del Sol tour, the Costa del Sol tourist information guide. What do you want to know? Uh, where's the inn? Uh, Resort located on the outskirts of the city. Um, where's the stores? We recommend Butch's. You are not that informative. Okay, show me around the town. Costa del Sol is the gateway to the west. Oh yeah, we did make it to a brand new continent. And a prominent world-renowned resort, which has been around for ages. Come on, I don't care about all that. If you want a good time, go to the beach. There are lots of old creepy Shinra scientists. You wouldn't happen to be rich. What would happen if I did say yes? You're kidding. You can't tell just by looking. But I'll tell you just in case. After relaxing at Costa del Sol, stop by the Gold Saucer. It's a rich and exciting place to play. Head south to the Gold Saucer, and you'll find casinos and an amusement park. If you're planning to walk, you'll have to cross the mountains and valleys. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're on vacation, you should go there at least once. No, we're hunting someone down. Alright, let's head into this bar. Welcome to Bar del Sol! Here's the Tropical Nights! I can't stand hot places. Oh, are all these guys just gonna... I really like this town. You can walk around here naked. Oh, I'm not gonna... You can rock, walk around here naked and no one would think twice about it. Come on, if you don't buy from me, I won't be able to pay the rent. Welcome to the weapon shop who is in the bar for some reason. Well, I guess less of a weapon shop, more of armor vendor who sells some pretty bad items. You know, you have platinum bangles and then you have uh, carbon bangles, which are like just better and cost less. You have the four slots, which I already said I don't really want. And you have Molotovs, which are basically just fire elemental grenades. Just a good ol' hit of fire attack on an enemy. So if you need a fire attack and like you don't have MP or whatever, then use then use a Molotov. Yeah, snow boils was happening this year. I'm sick of surfing. We're all headed over to the Gold Saucer now. We're gonna make a ton of money at the Chocobo races. Then we're gonna take a trip to Icicle Inn and snowboard. I am debating the legality of that, but all of us open carry, so honestly, I'm not even gonna bother. Should we play our hand around here? Um, ooh, a bunch of kids playing uh, soccer with a gold with a random pillar. Can I interrupt? Can I? Oh, I can wait. Hold on. Oh, oh, wait, wait, can I- No, I can only kick it in one direction. <sighs> it's the ocean. A creepy man was signaling for us to come. I was scared to come here. I think I know who you're talking about. One, two, three, here we go! Alright, let's- 
Hey, Yuffie, what are you doing over there? Ah, Cloud! Let me make a buck, why don't ya? I'm selling materia, why don't you buy some? If you have materia to sell, then why don't you just bring it with the part? I don't freaking know. Yuffie's, Yuffie's weird. Well, we're lucky to have that cutie working for us part- oh. Just suddenly grabbing a part-time job in a resort town that we just made it to? Sure. Alright, Bardosol down here. Oh, right, I remember that too. Yeah, yeah, and you remember that time- wait, John- wait, Johnny! Cloud, would you mind leaving us alone for the day? We haven't seen each other for ages, and sometimes it's fun to talk about old times for a change. Wait, you guys are childhood friends too? Huh, I guess you aren't a nobody. Yeah, don't get mad or anything. I'll try not to get be back too late, so don't worry about us. Why would I have to work? I'm not worried. You're right. Y'all are weird. Hold on, what do I say? Yeah, okay. We're leaving early tomorrow. Okay. And then there's this person in the shower over here. Okay. Um... Well, I can't say I expected that, but whatever. Alright, we have an inn over here. Um... Oh, item shop. Uh, how many hi- I have eight high potions, I'm fine. Uh, soft. This is an item that cures Petrify. It replaces the golden spikes, I believe they're called. Wait, no, golden needles of the older Final Fantasy games, if you're ever petrified. And Petrified, I don't know if I discussed this, it's a status ailment that's basically a one-hit KO. Think of, like, diamondization, it, think of diamondizing in, uh, Earthbound, or petrification in Dark Souls 2, or Curse in Dark Souls 1 and 3. Yeah, it's a one-shot. You got an eye drop, cures darkness, and you got hypers, and... More tents. Um, I might... No, I already have three. I, th I feel like three's fine. Alright, we already kind of checked out the beach. I am going to come back here just to see... Just to see if I missed anything. You're headed for Mount Coral, then you, bought her, then you better buy some soft. At least that's what they always say, don't they? Be prepared and you'll never fear. Hey, I'm no idiot. I never count my chickens before they hatch. Not bad, huh? Yipes, help! Oh. You should... Okay. There's Hojo sitting right there. Okay, there's no other NPCs on the beach for me to talk to. Um... So... Uh, we were kind of pointed in the direction of the gold saucer, and we were told that we would kind of have to go through some mountains to get there. So I am going to buy a couple softs just in case I get petrified. Alright, let's head to this inn. Uh, uh. Hey, yo! Someone's in here, alright? It's me. Oh. Okay, I guess he's just changing in there. What are you doing? Are you just getting mad at your reflection or something? Okay. Welcome! What's it going to be? 200 gil a night! Um... You know what? Cloud did say we are going to leave in the morning, so... Let's, uh, let's just... Let's just, uh, do this right now. Cradled by the sound of the ocean. Sweet dreams. Cradle by the sound of the ocean. Good morning! Be careful traveling! Do you need the 200 guild to advance the story? That would be kind of... I wonder what would happen if you just... I mean, you could just go grind. Yeah, you could just go grind for money. Okay, I don't even know why I brought that up. Alright, time to... Take a look at our new surroundings. Yeah, we landed on the Western Continent. I don't believe any of these three continents are named, so... Welcome to the Western Continent, or Continent 2, or... I don't know, whatever you want to call it. These don't have names. Uh, yeah, we have... A lot of beaches, like, immediately. Oh. 
this enemy. This is an interesting enemy called... This is an interesting enemy called a Grangolan. It looks like just a floating bean, but this enemy has a very annoying gimmick because it can spawn little copies of itself. Because now here you have a Grangolan Jr. Yeah, the Grangolan Jr. It's, I mean, you know, it's smaller and stuff. Actually, let's let's grab some statistics on that. Oh. Yeah, the worst part is that the Grangolan Jr. summons three Grangolans. Um, uh, three... Wait, what What are what are these ones called? Grangolan Jr. J really, Square? Really, Square localization team? Grangolan Jr. Jr.? Alright. Oh, lightning level up. Oh, cool. Alright, Cloud's uh, lightning material leveled up. And you might have noticed that I kind of swapped Yuffie out of the party in favor of Red 13. Yeah, she was cool. You know, she's a new character. Always nice to try out new characters, but, um... Eh, Red 13's my boy. Alright. Looks like over this river, we can see there's a... A giant... Bean... Vine... Well, it's not like we can get over the river anyway, so... It was another Grangolan. Well, on the on the bright side, uh, Red 13's Ice Materia got a level up. And you may have noticed that I attached his uh, seal, ma uh, seal Magic to an All Materia. So we can get, like, a, like omnipresent sleep on, like, any enemy. Yeah, Red 13, you're you're our support character for now. So, yeah. Well, the only The only place we really can go for Oh my god, it's another one. All right, screw this. We're fire, fire, two, and boom. There we go. Okay, Grangoland down and level up for Red 13. Boom, level 20. See? On par with the rest of the party, even though he was out of the party for two episodes. Remember I told you that party members still gain experience when they're not in the party? Case in point. Well, the only place we can really go is... Well, as that receptionist tour guide lady said, through the mountains and valleys and stuff, and immediately get attacked by a bunch of enemies, or immediately attacking a bunch of enemies, we have Needle Kiss. Which happen to be electric elements. So, yeah, um... If you think that, uh... Flying is weak to electric in this game, well... Think again, these guys got Volt Absorb. But, hopefully they're still weak to ice. Or not, that's... That's fine, I guess. And they take zero damage to physical attack... Red, just ice this thing. Boom. Gotcha. All right, going through the through the valley in the mountain range. Um, we immediately have. Well, I was about to say we immediately have two caves uh, present to us, but um, one of them kind of uh, one of them kind of doesn't exactly uh, have a way to be reached. So we just kind of have to. For oh my god. Aerith is already down 100 MP, and I blame that almost entirely on the Grangolans. Because I just gotta hit them with Fire 2, hit, hit, just to take one of them out. Well, you can be a nice test subject for our brand new summon material that we got for beating Genova Birth. Meet Ifrit! Oh my god, it's so cool. These summon animations are so good. I, There's gotta... Some point... There's gotta be some point where I just, like, watch a compilation of... Uh, oh my god, it's still alive. How much health do you... You know what? No, I'm grabbing the statistics. I'm looking... Okay, Aerith, how much health do these things have? 550. Although I did notice... They are level 16. 
so I could hit them with an L4, and we'll all be fine. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna kinda do that. Alright, I gotta use an Aether on Aerith. I just can't with these Grangolands. Alright. Well, let's climb up the mountain. Not really much of a cave, more of just a path. Phew! Hey! You're actually talking to me! What is it? I just passed a guy in a black cape back there. I just tried to tell him his dangerous up ahead, and he ignored me! Sephiroth. Hmm. I'm moving on ahead. There is a black cape guy here too? Sephiroth. It's dangerous up ahead. Be careful on your way. If any stranger should greet you warmly while traveling, may, uh, make sure to greet them back. Phew! I guess that's the, f that's the fun of being on the road. How badly did I fail at that voice? You can get enemy encounters here. But the music is so friendly. Okay. Well, new enemy, Bagnadrana. Hold on, I'm gonna take care of this. I'm just gonna use a Shiva on all these guys to deal with the Needle Kiss and the Surge Crown, which is just like one of the mushroom enemies. Uh, they're like, it's a mushroom enemy. I think it's kind of similar to the Margid Police from the, no, the Vargid Police from um, the Shinra HQ where they just like spread status and stuff. Oh, Bagnadron. Oh yeah, dra dra dragons are dragons are weak to ice. Okay, that that makes sense. I was gonna show something with the Bagnadronas, but okay. All right. Well, let's see where this path is leading us. Looks like we have a uh, very green, very green uh, sunlight. Over a dead tree. Oh boy, it's a Mako reactor. I wonder where the green came from. Even got the Mako reactor theme. Never gonna escape the. Never gonna escape these things. Okay, here we have two Bagnadranas. I am going to immediately hit them with a the Seal Evil because I want to render them as harmless as possible. Oh my god, I'm poisoned already. Um. All right, I'm gonna hit. Okay. I'm gonna hit them with the sleeple. Cloud, I need you to heal. Uh, Aerith, do you have. Oh, you don't have restorative magic. Okay. Um, let's sense the Bagnadronas and cure the party. Uh, oh, one of them's. One of them's almost dead. Okay, Bagnadrona A is dead. 450 health. I didn't see the level, so I don't know if they're weak to L4 or not. But, the reason why I'm being so careful around these guys... The reason I'm being so careful around these guys is that, um... There is actually something that I want to steal from them. Yeah, another one of these enemies. We're getting a lot of enemies to steal from lately. Well, I stole the thing off camera, as I usually tend to do with these. But, um... I'm just gonna show you what I stole from them. And... You will see why I'm so thankful that it didn't take longer than it had to. Cause let's go to Red 13. It's a diamond pin. Yes, the same diamond pin that you could buy from June on. I swear, if I was gonna have to sit here for two minutes to grab a duplicate weapon! Moving on from that, welcome to this giant Mako reactor. I feel like this is even taller than the ones at Midgar. It's huge. Uh, let's, uh, not walk around it because apparently this is just a random platform with some... I don't know what I did. Bloat floats? Uh, I... Didn't we have an enemy like one of these in the in the Midgar in one of the Midgar reactors? I feel like we did, because those names sound familiar. Maybe they're called like float bloats or something. 240 health. Wait, did that do level 16? 
Eh, they don't have much health anyway, so I'm not even gonna... Hold on. I keep on forgetting. Like, I can never remember. I have enemy skills. They are very powerful. See? Boom. I should be using those a lot more. So, let's just head back down... Here, into the mock Damn, not even letting me go into the mock reactor? I should not have cut that battle because we got some pretty good upgrades. Aerith is now level 20, and let's take a look at this ice material that Red 13 has equipped now, which is level 2 now. And the. And Aerith now has a level 2 all materia. Er. Yeah, level 2 all materia. So now we can use both fire and fire 2 twice. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? I remembered what it was. I got another enemy skill materia that I could put on Red 13. Red 13 or Cloud. Wait, what does Cloud have? Um, Cloud, I feel like you're definitely leaning towards the physical side of the spectrum. I mean, actually, I'm pretty sure we'll have some good, some good, um, what's the word? Enemy skills coming up for Red 13, so I don't think I have to, like, backtrack or anything to get anything. So that's gonna be nice. Why is it that when I hit the record button, I immediately get into an enemy encounter? There, there's, there's a point where it just stops being funny. As I was saying, heading south. Hey, the happy music. And I accidentally hit the down button. Oh well. Looks like we got more broken down train tracks, so. That's a really nice, uh, uh evil music again. Happy music! Battle music! Lamp oil? Rope? Bombs? Yeah, these are enemies called bombs! Um, they are a recurring type of enemy throughout Final Fantasy games. And the basic principle around them is that, um, if you hit them too many times without killing them, then eventually, they will explode. Yeah, you see, when I hit that bomb, it started to inflate. The more hits it takes... Uh-oh. I thought it was three hits, not two. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, healing wind. Healing wind. Healing wind. Okay. A good thing that limit break was still when it did, because that was... that would have ended badly. Alright. Ice two. Bombs? Hey, my cover material leveled up. Nice. So now, Cloud can take more bomb damage. Another new enemy. We have the Cockatolis. Cockatolis? I don't really know. I'm gonna go with Cockatolis. These are big old birds with yeah, 420 health. With a uh, big old, not that big kick attack. Let's just poison them all and see what happens. One of them gets poisoned. Okay. Yep, more basic enemies. Nothing's over here, by the way, so let's just head back up to the main train tracks. Wow, we are flooded with level ups this episode, because Aerith's lightning materia just got another. I mean, just got a level up, so now we're at bolt two. Huh. It's almost like when you get all of your materia around the same point in the game, they all start leveling up at the same point in the game. Funny how that works. More birds. I can see why I was told to buy softs. Because these guys just used an attack that put a timer on Aerith. If that runs out, Aerith be becomes petrified, immediately dying. So, yeah, you might want to hurry up and kill the, the birds as soon as possible. Oh, save point. Cool. Um... Nah, we don't need that. We're fine. Let's, uh, head down here. Oh, 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 press X to jump. To avoid the bowl in the ground. 
And another enemy encounter down here. More birds, but this time a bigger variety. Red 13 got a level up, so we are going to head over and not hit the X button because let's go ahead and mash left or hold left or crap. Wait. Aw, oh, dang it. I think you can see where I was going with that. If you hold left or right, then there will be certain treasures you can get. But uh, I just kind of missed my opportunity. We get a W... <laughs> w machine gun, guys. Uh, when we um, open that chest, which, as you can tell, is a... Is a uh, weapon for Barret. I gotta be less reckless with these birds because they're actually having some pretty strong attacks right now. But we're fine, we're fine, we got it, we got it. I'll go equip that machine gun on Barret. And this is a this is a clone of the Force Stealer slash whatever that weapon was for Yuffie for Barret, where you know you have less materia slots. They're not as connected, but you do get double growth and higher accuracy, so they're really good for, you know, uh, AP grinding, but not much else. I'm gonna pop a... I'm gonna pop a tent right here. Coming in on the other side of the train tracks, we've got a... Okay, this time, I'm gonna hold left and repeatedly mash X. And I get down here to grab a treasure. Hey, get get up, okay. We grab the treasure. We get a wizard staff, which, as you can tell, is a weapon for Aerith. And we got an interesting materia, because we have a transform materia. This is another status ailment materia, where it focuses on transforming enemies into forms that, like, persist throughout combat that are really debilitating. Specifically, Mini and Toad. Mini is you deal less damage, Toad is you do no damage. So, ooh, do I, I think I'm gonna fit this in over, I'm gonna fit this in over Seal for now. I don't know if that'll change in the future, because, I mean, those transformations might just be Straight up better? I can't exactly remember. Um... We actually got a new- We actually got a new item from the- From a bunch of these, uh, needle kisses. That I'm just gonna scroll down to, because... You know, combat situation right now, so it's a kind of a good time to talk about it. Um, Bolt Plume, which uses Bolt 2 on all enemies, so... Again, if you if you need some magic, if you need magic elemental attacks and you don't have any, I got another one. If you need some magic elemental attacks and you don't have anyone to use them, like not enough MP or anything like that, or maybe they're silenced, then just use a bolt plume. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to find another place I can fall through the railroad because I don't know what the other item is. I have no idea what it is. Future me, you can edit in a text box telling the viewers what the what item is down there. The one we missed. Oh, Cloud! That's it! We can't go on until the bridge is let down. I think there's a switch in that shack over there. There's too many monsters around, and I'm beat. The shack is here! Oh no, I just gave that a little bit of an announcer voice. Oh, come on, Cloud. Let's rest a minute. Um, nah, we, I don't know why they specifically request that you use the PHS right here, because there is a save point on the other side of this railroad, and if you're playing this game now, you're probably playing one, at least some kind of re-release, and, you know, the most recent re-releases have, you know, cheats that allow you to ignore enemy encounters, so there's nothing stopping you from going down there. Alright, ow, it sure is tight in here. Come on, Cloud. Don't let it get to you. Let's see, this is it. If I turn this, something should happen. Who wouldn't?
Hey, moving the camera out of place so we can not see the animation. If you just so happen to hear chirping and you run down the railway and hit the up button, you'll start climbing on the wall. Up here, you get a unique screen that very few people ever encounter in their first in their playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII. I didn't encounter this until my second playthrough, and that was just because of a walkthrough. How cute! <sighs> what should we do? If you click take the treasure, you will effectively kill these two baby birds in exchange for ten phoenix downs. And you will also have to fight you will also have an encounter with a, with a cockatollis. I am not going to do that, because these birds are way too adorable, and I am not a jerk. Even though Red 13 looks a little hungry. Stop gyrating near me, they're already gyrating enough. And the railway is broken over here, so really the only way we can go is just retrace our steps backwards. Why am I even worried? I don't have enemy encounters enabled right now. Hold on. Oh, and immediately when I take him off, I just ran into an enemy. If we do head downwards to this, um, what could loosely be described as a shoreline, and we go right, you have another area that a lot of people never see. Like, I've seen people on, like, GameFAQs forums saying that they've never encountered this cave when they first played Final Fantasy VII. Because they're not marked on the map for any any non-Japanese re-release- any, like, non-Japanese original re-releases. Like, yeah, you got- you, you don't even have the identifier thing for caves. Hey, how'd you ever wind up here? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do a thing for you. Oh boy, coal has sure come to pot. Used to be a famous coal mining town. They say there were more jobs than you could shake a... Oh, you get the picture. No, it's nothing but a miserable pit. Me, my bulldozer, everyone's out of work. Got no job. Can't even show my face. Not all that's left for me is just living in this hole all day. Huh. So I guess that's some context about, less about Mount Coral, more of just like a place called Coral, where apparently used to be an old mining town, but ever since the Shinra swooped in, things have all gone down the hole. We do get some cool items. We get a power source, and a mine source, and another tent. So I guess I really didn't have to buy that one at Costa del Sol. Aerith is swimming in level ups today, because now she's level 21, so it's pretty cool. Oh, these enemies, okay. These uh, search crowns, now I can actually uh, take a look at these guys. They, their basic attack is 4 laser, which actually doesn't do that bad damage. Uh, level 16, 150 HP, 30 MP. They attack in swarms, so really the only way for you to really take these guys down is to just... Uh, Hit him with the, uh... Oh, they also have bullet seed, which doesn't do much damage. You can just hit him with the, uh... Good old uh... Bread and butter of any blue mage in this game. Hit him with the matra magic. And Cloud gets a level up. We are getting a lot of levels this episode. Alright, we do have another cave. That's, that's not a cave. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Welcome to... A giant bridge with enemy encounters on it. Beef. Mm. Let me guess. Mo oh, one singular bomb. Um, I do believe that. I can't confirm this, but I. Well, I don't know this for sure, so I guess I'll find it out now. I think if you hit it with the fire spell, it immediately explodes. Oh no, it's just immune to fire. Well, I knew it had some weird interaction with Fire Island. I didn't expect that exactly. So, 
Yeah, let's just, uh... Make you a non-issue. You're an issue. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm not taking any chances with you. I'm hitting you with a sled fang. That does a lot less damage than I expected it to. Alright, well, let's just kill this thing. Not even let it explode, because if it explodes, you also don't get any rewards from killing it. So, that's another motivation to make you get rid of it quickly. But welcome to North Coral. The old mining town that the dude told us about. Ow! Well, looky here. Never thought I'd see your face again. They kick you out of another town or something? You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Coral turned into a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Or did you forget what you did here already? I'm sorry. <sighs> Spark, you ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. Hey, Barrett. Uh, how you doing? <sighs> you heard him. It's my fault. This town was destroyed. Is it because of your gun arm? You know who's responsible for North Coral winding up like this. Well, now I do, I guess. Get out of the way! The only way we can make ends meet in here now is by collecting junk. Uh, let's go into a, one of these... What could loosely be described as a house. The next train's coming soon. The next train's coming. Oh, okay. Grandpa used to be a coal train engineer. He still can't kick his old habits from then. Um... I do want to get past you two. Which, I will say, isn't the easiest of feats. One of the most annoying things in this game for some reason has to deal with this little family right here because of this NPC's walk cycle I can't pa get past him all right I made it past the run cycle and stop gyrating beyond the oh my god oh my god Oh no, oh, did I just- okay. I didn't get soft locked or anything. There is an ether in that, uh, in that little, uh, basket over there, which is one of the most annoying items to get in this game for some reason. Uh, we have another tent over- stop. What's with N NPCs in this area blocking me? I want to leave this garbage dump of a town behind me and start a new life. If I had a buggy across the southern desert, go to that town across the river. Huh, town across the river. Everyone knows that accident could have been avoided, but no one will be satisfied until someone takes the blame. Apparently Barrett's that one question mark? Well, there's a guy. Okay, what, what does child here have to say? Can I talk to child? May, may I please talk to child? I've never say that in real life, but may I please talk to your child? I can't talk to your child. That's fine. All right, let's buy from this dude and then listen to his story. We get some free, uh, we get some transform materials right here, and a bunch of new uh, status items. You get the maiden's kiss, which restores your frog status. Uh, you get the cornucopia. Which cures the small status, which, you know, you can be afflicted with by mini. Uh, soft and hyper and tranquilizer, so, you know, it's kind of just stuff we've already seen, so... Let's listen to this guy's story. Take that road on the left to the ropeway station. The ropeway will take you to the gold saucer. Hey, that's where we're supposed to go. Doesn't mean much to us poor folks, though. 
If you want to survive, then you're going to need some of my weapons. Alright, weapon shop. We got carbon plate bangles, force dealers, and molotovs. We don't need any of that. We already have some. Slash stuff that we're not going to use. Please buy something. Anything will do. That is the second saddest uh, item shop I've seen. Although I can't really blame these guys. I hear it's a big fad now in the city to get tattoos. Is that right? I mean, I don't think... I mean, Red 13 forcibly had one on him. I don't know if Barrett has any tattoos. I wouldn't blame Aerith for having a tattoo, though. Aerith with a tattoo would make sense, but I wouldn't know. Really? I saw a big old one on the arm of a young guy heading towards the ropeway. That black cape he had on was really cool. So I guess black capes are just another fashion trend. It's certainly not associated with villain. Yay! What do you want to play? Your singular text box. How am I supposed to continue living in a town that lost everything? To hell with that Maka reactor! Is, did it like dry up all the coal? Or what happened to the coal? Because it can't just disappear, right? Because of that, uh... My, us, my husband got into that accident. He used to be such a strong man. Bork. Bork, bork. Alright. One way to go. Up. Welcome. Only 50 gil a night. Charging that little at an inn? That's how you know things are really rough in a video game, when the inn costs 50 gil. But, I mean, there's not really much we can do right now. We just had an ether and a little bit of backstory about how Barrett apparently is the cause of this town's ruin. Only one place we can really go now. The Gold Saucer. Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean used to? It ain't here no more. Where it got buried. Just four years. But how could those people say such terrible things? And it's my fault. All my fault. Oh no, please don't run over the runtime. My hometown, Coral, always been a coal mining town. It may be dusty and poor, but it's calm. It's a real small town. That's the first time I ever heard Maka Reactor mentioned since then. What are we going to do? The only one opposed to this is dying. I'm definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if we're thinking of throwing away our coal. The coal's been ours for generations. Our fathers and theirs before them risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, Dine, no one uses coal nowadays. It's a sign of the times. Right, everything is Mako now. It will be all right, Dine. Shinra Incorporated will guarantee your livelihood once the Maka reactor is complete. Listen, Dine, I don't want my wife, Mirna, to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Dine, you have got to understand. That's how Coral Reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. It happened when Dine and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything.
Shinra troops? What for? I can see why Barrett's being blamed for this now. There is an explosion at a reactor. Shinra, Shinra blamed the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. And apparently... Yeah. Apparently Shinra has a history of just destroying entire populations when they think that their, their like adversaries are from there. Well, I guess that's true. But more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why. That's why I get so pissed off. Only did they take advantage of me. But I lost my wife, Myrna, too. Hey, everyone! If you want to go to the Gold Saucer, hurry and get on. Um... Let's save that for next episode! Dime was my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. I'm waiting inside. Well, I don't know about you, but I kind of want to go grab a little bit of a save point right now. So, uh, yeah. We, yeah, we fully explored Costa del Sol, and we made it through the Coral Mountain and the Coral Maka Reactor to make it to North Coral. Next time on Final Fantasy VII, we'll take that ropeway all the way to the Gold Saucer. See you guys then.